Hey guys, I am exploring using some additives today. There are several different additives that we can use with our oil and cold wax paintings. A few of them are marble dust, powdered pigments, pastel, charcoal, sand, even coffee grounds. Um, ashes and even common dirt you can also mix with your oil and cold wax and use it in a painting to create texture. The powdered pigments though are what I want to focus on more today and you apply the powdered pigments when the painting is between the wet and the tacky stage and I am going to do a couple of demos for you now about how I use powdered pigments in some of my work. Thanks for being here. Anytime that you are using powdered pigment, Please be sure to take your respiratory health into consideration and if you are concerned about respiratory issues, wear a mask and have good ventilation. Um, just like I always say to all of my students and to everyone that watches my videos, uh, take care of your own health and safety first. And what we're going to do first is use some of the powdered pigment and if your surface is tacky or still is semi-wet, it will adhere to that. You can also put down a coat of the clear cold wax so that the powdered pigment will adhere to your painting better. So let's get started.
There are several different ways that we can use the powdered pigment to enhance our pieces of work. And you can put the powdered pigment into salt and pepper shakers and sprinkle it on in that way so that you have a different effect here than sprinkling it on with a skewer or a palette knife and letting it just fall in this fashion. Um, you can put the powdered pigment down on a piece of wax paper with cold wax on it and then sort of change a general area and if you embed it with a piece of newsprint into a wet or tacky surface, it will usually hold pretty well. Um, but if you are concerned that some of the clumps might fall off, once the painting is completely dry, you can purchase a fixative to apply over the powdered pigment to sort of set it even more into the paint. Um, one of the fixatives uh, is a Spectrafix and this particular fixative is supposedly uh, one of the best to not change the brightness of the color of your powdered pigment because anytime that you spray a fixative on pigment, whether it's the powdered pigment form, pan pastel, regular pastel, a fixative will change the color and it usually darkens the color. So you have to be aware of that if you decide to use this technique in some of your work and you decide to spray it with a fixative. But do experiment. There are a lot of different fixatives on the market, just like there are a lot of different powdered pigment brands on the market. Experiment with both and see which ones you enjoy using the most. And I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's been informative for you as another technique that you might want to try on certain pieces of your work. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It would mean a lot to me to have you um, leave comments. And if you like the video, please click the like button and give it a thumbs up. Thank you everyone. Until next time.